What's up, people? So I'm about to do intros, but there's just one problem. I only got one leg. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, but um, this is what I'm gonna do. Can't hold this and the mic at the same time and scoot, you know? Gotta be able to do both. So I'm gonna gaff tape this bad boy to my scooter, hold the mic in one hand, scoot with the other, and I really hope this works. If it falls off, it's not gonna be, not gonna be good. Does this look bad? What do you guys think? Good? Be like this. So now that I got my paper in place, I wanted to do a few practice runs. Let's hear it for the new Mr. and Mrs. Anderson! <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let's make some noise! Where's all my party people at? Put a hand in the air. Yes. Dumb as shit. I'm as ready as I'm gonna be so now I got to make the announcement to bring all the guests upstairs And the cool thing about this venue is they have a house system that runs throughout so I can make the announcement for my main setup And they can hear me downstairs in cocktail hour. All guests to please make your way upstairs to our ballroom Now I had to head downstairs to line up the bridal party. Taking the elevator downstairs definitely made me feel super handicapped and got me all nervous all over again, but it's all good. I got this, I could do it. Yeah, here I am. Well, came downstairs to line up the bridal party. Hope they listen to me. I'm Nick Spinelli in the what's house. Up? What's up, what's up? So I'm Nick, um, I'm gonna get everybody in order. I'll be nice to you and so be nice and uh, choreographed and whatnot. So it's really easy, we're doing groups and stuff, but just first up, uh, so parents of the groom, so Michael and Ursula will be first up here. Ladies to the right, because they're always right. Then we have our groomsmen. Where are our groomsmen? Groomsmen, assemble! Autobots! Autobots! <laughs> so the wedding party's all lined up. This is it, people. This is it. It is go time. It's now or never. I really hope I don't mess this up. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the beautiful Rock Island Lake Club. How are we feeling? How are we feeling? East side over here, can we make some noise for Michael and Brittany, please? How about west side over here? Can we make some noise for our bride and groom right here? So I brought the parents in as per usual, but for the wedding party, instead of doing individual couples, the bride and groom wanted me to announce them in as groups. So I did all groomsmen and all bridesmaids. And I kind of like this trend. And now put those hands together for our groomsmen. Robbie, Nicholas, Brendan, Sean, and Christopher! Now let's hear for our bridesmaids! Nina, Johanna, Caitlin, Mary, and Shannon! Now ladies and gentlemen, if you can hear my voice, please rise out of your seats! Clap those hands to the beat for me! Knock, 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 knock! We're just not going to make it! Now the hard part's over, nothing left to do but to just DJ. So I DJed all through dinner, played a lot of, you know, sing-along hits, had people bopping and swaying, and then after dinner, we went in.
So I got to admit, it was a big jump going from EDM right into Sweet Caroline. But the reason why I did it was it was on their must play list. They really wanted to hear it. And I knew Sweet Caroline, all the drunk young people would sing it. And the old people would actually get up and come out to that song and sing as well. Because I'd just been melting their faces off for like 30 minutes at this point. So we played Sweet Caroline. They sang. It was a great time. I said, let's hear it for them. I waited a little bit. It came a little late. But the one more song chant happened. So I decided to play just one more bomb right before I left. <laughs> Yeah. 